Hey, for a while now, I have been wanting to do a video for my children and for all of my family and friends that know that I work in the oil field but don't really have a good understanding of what it is that I do. I'm what they consider a well tester or I do what they call flowback. And we come in and we start working after the well has been drilled and has been fracked and then we open it up and we produce it so we get all the good stuff back that they're trying to go after. Now this right here is your wellhead. So right here there is a very deep hole going straight down into the earth. It runs down this particular well about 8300 foot straight down and then we'll slowly or gradually curve and once it hits the horizontal point it'll run an additional 5,000 feet. Now we hook up to this wellhead with our iron. We run it down to the ground and this is where all the water oil and gas and sand will come through and whatever the wellhead pressure is that's what the pressure is on this line this particular well right now we got 70 pounds it's a little bitty guy i've worked them as high as 8,000 pounds and then heard stories about wells in the hainesville that are strong gas wells that can get up around 15,000 pounds this is what we consider a manifold we have chokes in this manifold to restrict the pressure so i may have I may have high pressure up to this point and inside here I've got a choke that will restrict my pressure so on the back side of this piece of iron that pressure is decreased tremendously. Now it'll go from that point to this piece of equipment called a separator once we finally get to the point of making gas and this piece of equipment here will separate my oil from my water and we'll also separate out the gas. So the gas will come out of the top here, come out of that line. We have a back pressure valve so we can control the pressure on the vessel. It'll run out, down, and run down our flare line, which runs out here to this tall piece of equipment that we burn the gas off. So if you're ever driving around and you see a flame in the sky, most likely that's what you're seeing is they're burning off the natural gas until they're at a point where they can send it down their pipeline and sell it. Now this also has dumps on it to dump my oil and my water. And that will be put into different tanks. We have big tanks here that store 500 barrels a piece. And we'll dump oil into those tanks, we'll dump water into those tanks. And this is all on the flowback portion of the job. Now once we get the well cleaned up, and by that I mean get the sand out of the hole so that all that's coming back is water, oil, and gas, then we'll send it over to the production equipment. But here's our frack tanks where we put our water and our oil while we're still making sand. This over here is what is considered a production battery. And this production battery is permanent equipment. Our equipment is test equipment, which is why it sits on trailers, so that it can be hauled out after the job is completed and all the iron picked up. The production equipment is hard lined. Off our wellhead, we have the lines running down into the ground from the wellhead under the ground, and they come back over here to this is their permanent separator at their production battery. It has the exact same function as our test separator, only this thing is permanently set in place. So then, once the hole is cleaned up, we send all fluids and all gas over here, where it then gets separated out like our test separator. We'll dump it into this tall piece of equipment here, which is what is called a heater treater. And that actually has a heating element that runs inside to bring the temperature of the oil up. That way if we're having any paraffin in the oil that's coming back out of the hole, right here is where our heating tube comes in. And it's basically just a round tube makes a U shape and comes back around. And that heats up and heats our oil to burn off the paraffin. Then we'll dump total fluids through our lines and the oil and the gas will come over here to our upright storage tanks. I'm sorry, the oil and the water. 
the gas will get pumped into this here which is called a scrubber and the gas gets pumped in and comes right back out the whole purpose is if there's any fluid in the gas or any moisture in the gas called condensate then that will fall out right there the rest of the gas will go to the flare or out to the pipeline when they're ready to start selling it these are the upright storage tanks where all of the water and oil is stored until the water gets pumped via a pump down to a water disposal the oil will be pulled via oil truck which y'all have seen out there on the roads right here on what is considered a lact unit I'm horrible with this video because I would have to look up to remember what the acronym LACT stands for but that is the lact unit and it actually counts like a gas pump you could say the barrels and oil and also reads what is called your BSNW your sediment and your water that may be held up in the oil this since everything today is automated is pretty fancy call it a rock box here in the field